Welcome to the Game Audio Resource WiseCube 2019 Audio Implementation Guide Series. This guide will highlight how to implement a new reverb type to the existing default types available. Also, this guide shows you how to implement reverb zones into a map. Before we begin, you will notice reverb is not playing in the default map Met L3 for the test footsteps. This is due to one simple setting in WISE. To enable any game-wide sound effects or dialogue to use the reverb effects in WISE data, ensure game-defined auxiliary sends is ticked on the content you wish to use the reverb effect. Navigate to the placeholder underscore test folder. Then select the test underscore footstep in the properties editor, general settings tab. Find the game-defined auxiliary sends section. Then ensure use game-defined auxiliary sends is ticked. This will enable the reverb zones we implement in this chapter's guide. Then enable reverb on the test underscore vocal underscore zero one container with the above steps. Generate the sound banks and save your WISE project updates. In game, test the default map, Met L3. Listen to the assigned test footstep assets. The default setup reverb zone should now be heard as the player moves around the map. Test. Test. When we cleaned up the project, we have purposely left the default reverb zone data and will now add new reverb zone types and update the naming conventions. Change to the layout designer. Navigate to the Project Explorer Share Sets tab. Open the hierarchy Effects Default Work Unit. These are the list of the four currently default reverb types. First, let's rename the content. Rename the content to the names you see on screen now. Select and copy any one of the reverb types. Paste and copy into the same location under Effects Default Work Unit. Rename the container REV underscore EMV underscore 5 underscore outside. Double click the container to bring up its properties. As we are not yet able to hear the new reverb type, for now change the values to match the on screen screenshot and then close the window. In the Project Explorer Audio tab, locate the Master Mixer Hierarchy, Master Audio Bus, Environments Audio Bus. Rename it Reverb. In this audio bus, you will see four default reverb types using the original naming convention. We need to again rename these to match the effects names we have added in the Share Sets tab. Next, copy one of the reverb audio buses. We need to again rename these to match the effects names we have added in the Share Sets tab. REV underscore EMV underscore 5 underscore outside. Select the new AUX bus to bring up the properties in the Property Editor panel. Select the Effects tab. In the Effects list, there is one entry of which reverb type is assigned to the AUX bus. Double click the item in the Name column, then select the new effect. REV underscore EMV underscore 5 underscore outside. Generate the sound banks and save your WISE project updates. WISE is now set up with a new reverb type plus the original four default types. Next, we need to assign the new reverb type to a map to get the reverb working in game. In your local directory, locate this file cube slash cube slash packages slash base slash met l3.cfg. Open the script in Notepad. You will see the four default reverb zones already set up. First, we need to rename the event names to match our new naming convention mentioned in step two. Next, copy one of the reverb entries, then add it under the fourth reverb entry. Rename it to match the name of the new outside reverb we have added. To add a quick view, add dash dash five at the end of the line consistently to the above scripted lines. Now we know that Reverb type 1 equals small room, reverb type 2 equals medium room, reverb type 3 equals large room, reverb type 4 equals corridor, and reverb type 5 equals outside, our new reverb type. Save the script. The last step is to tag the reverb zones into a map. Please note this is a manual process and will take some time to complete. Boot up the game's default map, Met L3. Press E on your keyboard to bring up the Map Edit mode. Select a square with the mouse left click. Hold the click, then drag out a selected area you wish to assign a reverb zone type to. Release the mouse click. 
With the area selected, press the command line button on your keyboard to bring up the command input. Now type set wys emv space 4, then press enter. You have now assigned the corridor reverb type number 4 to the selected area. Press E to exit edit mode. Now move the player character in and out of the new reverb zone. You should hear the reverb being applied in the new area. Test. If you are happy with the new reverb zone, save the map updates. Press command on your keyboard, then type save map, followed by pressing enter. A wrote map file message will appear in the top left part of the game window to confirm you have saved the map correctly. The reverb effect is now fully implemented into the map. This is a good point to start testing out the different reverb types and tag up the default map Met L3 with the different reverbs available.